Friends, we have gathered here at this sacred hour to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in the estate of holy matrimony. My first responsibility is to remind you, Dan, and remind you, Kenan, that holy matrimony is far more than a simple legal contract. Because entering into this union, we not only have you, Dan, and you, Kenan, but the Lord, the one who made you, the one who redeemed you at the cross, the one who wants to walk with you every day to sustain and guide you. He desires to be an active and invited partner in the formation of your family and in the creation of your future. These look like good rings. No scratches, no scars, no dents, but not long ago, they were on a jeweler's bench. And this precious metal was crafted into an Ebenezer, into a perennial reminder of the covenant that you just created. That's why you take a ring to seal the promises that you've made. It becomes a tangible expression to a watching world of the commitment that you've made. It says, I'm taken. Your wedding ring becomes an advertisement that says to everybody, I am committed. Dan, the knot has been properly tied. You may kiss your bride. 